Sometimes the hardest part about shipping is finding the correct box. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I've got a little crazy hair today going on today. I wore a hat this morning. That was my first mistake. But today is Wednesday and I'm going to do a what sold video. What sold on eBay video today. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull the things that had shipped. Just two things sold overnight. We'll go ahead and we'll get those shipped and then we will get into what sold for me on eBay this week. It was a great week of sales for me this week. So um, let's pull these items and then we will get them shipped and then we'll see what sold for me this week. So let's go. All right, so this puzzle is hay in a needle stack. My goodness, I can't even imagine doing this puzzle. Uh, 550 piece, it's sealed. There's just a little portion down there that the cellophane is coming off, but it is sealed. So we sold that as well as these little guns. So over the weekend, I listed, these were actually a lot of my son's, well, I don't know if that was or not, some of his old toys that he just had over the years, like these little like halo figures, but we found, here they are, yeah. Some of the guns so there should be one two three four five yeah there are five like guns now here's a little tip if you go to the bins or if you are at yard sales flea markets and you find some of these like guns that are that like little mini figures or you know like little vinyl figures like the power rangers and halo they the guns themselves can sell pretty well so Look at the bottoms of the bins and see if you can find these sorts of things. But um, this is some sort of a weapon backpack thing. I don't know. But I think that these sold for $30. Well, we'll see. When I pull up what sold this week, you'll see. But um, they've just been sitting around. So the puzzle and those weapons sold for me overnight. So we'll put those things back in there. Grab this and let's go get these shipped. Sometimes the hardest part about shipping is finding the correct box. And I recycle all the boxes that I get from any orders that I've placed online. Um, but this is an odd shape. This one, it's bigger than a 12 by 12 by 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box. I'm going to take a box that I've recycled and we're going to just put a little bit of a protective um, coating, I guess, if you will, around it. And then I'm going to ship it because it won't look very pretty. Uh, let's just be honest, it's not going to look very pretty, but then I'll put it in a big poly bag. I don't want to just ship this in a poly bag itself because I don't want it to get damaged. What if the person was buying this and they were giving it to someone as a gift and then it arrived and it was smashed? So we want to be able to protect it a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do though is put my business card on there like that. And then I'll aim this down here. I just got this big box and I've opened it up. And one of the greatest tools that I have found, and I will try to link this. Um, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's basically like a box cutter. Um, so it, it will cut through cardboard like none other. And I don't worry about cutting my own fingers because you know, that's something that I would something that I would do. So I'm gonna make a little covering. We may not even need to use this box cutter. And you know, obviously you wanna make sure that you get all of your, if you have an address, like your, if you have your address on here, you wanna make sure that you are removing any of that just for safety reasons. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tape the sides here a little bit. I didn't even need to use that box cutter. That is dandy. I'm probably gonna use my tape gun here in a minute just to go all the way across. Just makes it stay a little bit easier. 2,000 years later. So it provides some smash, smash proof protection. You know what? When, when it's being shipped. Now I have these big poly bags that I get from You Pack and Ship, which I highly recommend. 
having some of these on hand because um, if you are, you know, kind of frankenboxing this, plus it will help keep it safe from the weather. It'll protect it somewhat. It should just slide right on in there. I'm going to close this up. I sometimes, just because it just makes me feel better putting out a piece of tape like that, just to make sure. And there we have it. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to measure this. This, while it's in a poly bag, it still has the integrity of a box. I'm still going to put um, the three dimensions in. So it is 19 by 15 by 2. 19 by 15 by 2. In eBay, you have to put three dimensions in. I'm going to ship this through eBay's shipping system. I'm not going to go out on my own and say I've shipped it here and then go ship it through Pirate Ship. All of my eBay sales, I ship through eBay. That just provides myself some protection, my buyer some protection. So that's what I do. You have to put three measurements in the eBay listing. So let's go ahead. Well, I'll set this aside and we'll go ahead and get the other one ready, which are these guns. Now, my husband stuck them in this bag that has a hole in it. So we're going to put them in a different bag that uh, doesn't have a hole in it. I just use these little baggies that I get from Walmart. So yeah, they're just these little, I don't know what guns are, but that's a some kind of a chest piece. I don't know. I think that these are all, ooh, that one's got a, that, that one's got a knife on it. I think that these are all Halo figure guns. So, one, two, three, four, I think there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Seal it up. I'm going to go ahead and drop my business card in there. Then seal it up. And I have these small little boxes here. These little boxes here my husband gets from work, which is really nice. He just brings them home for me, and I can just get that in there. And you know what? Maybe we'll put this other thing of just seal that up. But you know what? I didn't weigh the puzzle. We need to weigh the puzzle too. Well, the dimensions on this little box are eight by five by two. Let me get the weight 3.5, so that we will round up to four ounces. And then the puzzle here. This scale is nice because it has this little flap here. It can this weighs one pound, 15 ounces, so we'll go ahead and round up to two. All right, now we'll print the labels, and then we'll get to what sold on eBay for me this week. Okay, guys, so we're, let's go ahead and get into what sold for me this week, and we're talking about sales that from January 8th through the 12th for me this week, and at the end, we'll go over what the what the totals and everything were. Um, the this first thing I've sold, I'm still selling Christmas items. Christmas ornaments are selling. I did go in and um, I've edited a lot of my listings to make the Christmas ornaments free shipping. They will ship first class. The majority of them will. Um, some of them may still be out there um, that are not free shipping. But again, I have zero money in these. These were given to me. So um, this first one was a Hallmark ornament. Here's a little panda bear. This is Super Sharp Sun uh, from 1995, and it sold for $7.75 with free shipping. The next item is this Big Fish Games 2008 plush green stuffed animal. This was also, I had zero money in this. This was given to me when my mom moved. Um, I just, before she moved, she says, is there anything in here that you could sell? She had this for some strange reason. I don't know why. Um, and it sold for $16. I did do free shipping on it. It did ship first class. I've been playing around with some things. I've been doing free shipping on the things that I know 
that will ship first class on, well, some of them, some you, you'll see some of them are not, but this old, here he is. He's a little stuffed animal guy from Big Fish Games. Okay, so we I did sell several of these um, action figures, and this one is um, the McFarlane Halo 2011 Brute Chieftain Halo Reach Complete Excellent Condition. It's this guy, whatever, whoever he is. Now, he is was a larger size um, for a action figure. Uh, I didn't even say what size he was. Does it say? 112, I don't know, he was a bigger size in these um, action hero guys. He sold for $50. These are pretty collectible. I did accept a best offer. I think I originally had him listed for $60 and did accept a best offer of $50. Again, this is something that my son has had for a while and um, it was just sitting around. So uh, I would, I would gladly took $50. It did come with the weapon. It was complete. So he had his little, uh, oh, let's go down to this picture here. It had his little shield helmet thing that went on his ugly little head there and his gun. So he was complete and that would make a difference. If he didn't have his helmet or his weapon, he wouldn't have been worth as much. All right, Monopoly, Jurassic World. Um, I like to buy these kind of cross uh, collectors things. So this is Monopoly game. So we've got Monopoly and then we have Jurassic Park. So anything that's like a two for one sort of thing, um, like Yahtzee sometimes will have different characters and stuff. Those are the ones I tend to look at to see if they're worth anything. This one um, was missing pieces. Uh, I think I paid $1.99 for it at Goodwill. Uh, and I did sell it for $18 and the buyer did pay shipping. It was missing four hotel pieces, but everything else was there. Um, so yeah, fun game. Sold for $18. For, uh, buyer did pay $9.90 shipping. The next item is some more of this blank media. This is a lot of four TDK CDing to 90 minutes blank audio cassette tapes, new sealed. They are all new sealed. Um, when I find this blank media, it's always a good idea to look it up. I knew that TDK was a um, pretty known brand. Um, it did sell for $18. It shipped first class and I did do free shipping. Christmas mug, Starbucks Christmas mug. Now I've had this for a while and um, it was in great condition. Um, there is a little crack on the inside, as you can see in this picture right there. It is noted in the description and it sold for $16 plus $9.25 shipping. The next item is a Wii game. Um, this was, gosh, I think something that we had. It was my, one of my son's games. And um, Dragon Quest Swords, The Masked Queen in the Tower of Mirrors for the Nintendo Wii. It was complete. It had the, the, um, the disc and the manual inside. Sold for $19.99 free shipping. This was one of two of these Sony Walkmans that I've sold this week. Um, if you see these out, um, it's a good idea to look the, check the battery compartment real well. If it's corroded, I would probably pass on it. If it still looks pretty clean, um, pick it up and um, put some batteries in it and test it and, you know, grab a CD. I usually just keep a CD and a cassette tape just around handy so I can test them. I tested it. It did work. This one is the G Protection Portable CD Player, and it had the case with it. Uh, I, I don't remember where we got this. Some of this stuff I've had just for a while. We've just been going through our opportunity piles and trying to get some things listed that we've had for a while. The, com the compartment was very clean. It sold for very quickly. These tend to sell pretty quickly after I list them. Um, sold for $25 and the buyer paid $8.70 shipping. You'll see another one of those coming up soon. The Lolly, Lolly Tea Seed Elixir Beauty Oil. Um, these are some things that I get in some beauty boxes that I subscribe to. Ipsy and um, uh, BoxyCharm. 
and gosh the other one there's another one that i subscribe to too but if i don't use the items that come in them then i'll just go ahead and sell them on ebay this sold for twenty dollars i think i had it listed for 25 took a best offer of 20 and it did ship first class and the buyer and it was free shipping the starbucks bear sold he's so cute he was in his original box you can see there um i just snapped a few quick pictures of him in my vlog last week and um he sold pretty quickly i think i had him originally listed for 20 took a best offer of 17 and the buyer paid shipping he was from 2006 and he was in his original box he's pretty cute with his little sweater next is a mario smash brothers look up here no game i had a story i did sell one of these last week and it was in my video and i said that it, it it had no game. It was just the manual and the box because people collect these. I know people who who want all of them. If they just have the game, they want the box and the manual to go with it. So it's very important to put in all capital letters, no game, no game in the description down here. Let me scroll down here. No game. So put it in a, you know, a bunch of areas. Now I, the one that I sold last week, uh the buyers wanted to return it because they said hey you scammed me there's no game in here and i was like yeah no kidding i it said at three three places that there was no game in it so um they wanted to return and i actually thought i'm not going to accept the return but i went ahead and accepted the return because i i actually sold it to him for less than what it goes for so hopefully they'll send it back to me they did leave me bad feedback i did re um request for it to be retracted and um, if you communicate these things with ebay and if you're communicating with the buyer back and forth and ebay has that documentation then for the most part, part ebay will be like yeah i know and then they'll they can retract that feedback so i i don't know i've sent him the order or the label for it to be shipped to me back to me hopefully it comes back to me and it's in great condition i'll make sure that i check it over if it's in horrible condition or he, if you've tampered it with it in some way then i will take pictures of it and send it to ebay and um i actually reported him as well because he had a feedback of two so that, that should have been my first clue but just make sure that you have it in several areas if you're selling this kind of thing with no game that you have it listed no game in lots of different areas all right the next guy is batman and robin this is mr freeze yeah, there he is with his blue head. Um, this was something that we picked up in an auction lot. And I think that it had, there were several different action heroes in here. And we've sold a lot of them. This was the, one of, the, I think we have him and I think we have the Flash. The Flash is still for sale. Um, he sold for $20 um, and the buyer did pay shipping. He was a big size. He was a big 12-incher. Um, so he um, was is from DC Comics. So no box just him no weapon just him just mr freeze went off to his new home all right the next item is a 2007 white house historical association christmas box i got boxes of these i, I think this was my last one that i um, had um i got them from the bins just boxes of these white house christmas ornaments so they every year the white house will put out a different one and so they they do run in a series and people do collect them um this was from 2007 so this was the wedding at the white house um which president was this i don't know if it says did i say down here which president uh, has they come with a story card i don't know but um original box the box did have a little bit of wear to it as you can see right there and i mentioned that in the description as well but really cute um i do like to buy these it sold for 15 dollars and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping next item were these I, I listed these last week as well these were fun and i thought for the longest time that that was sharon tate it looks a lot like her um but these were uh hair combs i i got these at a yard sale i just couldn't resist the packaging it was great look at her isn't she fabulous so these were like tease combs brand new in the package never been opened and they sold for 12 dollars. i did ship them free they were very lightweight that was a quick sale it was a fun thing to list another ornament here this one's from 1992 this one did not have the original box 
Um, and it, it is noted in um, the little blurb that you put when you list it. And then I also put it in the listing as well in the description. It's a cute little mouth, this little stocking. It was really cute. It is a Hallmark ornament. You can see there on the bottom, it is marked 1992 Grandson Mouse with the Apple of My Eye. Sold for $6 and the buyer paid $4.50 shipping. The next item is a J. Lynn Christmas Cross Stitch Kit. Um, this was Susie Zoo. You can see there, it was one, I tend to buy these kits when I when they're still sealed. Um, they're just an easy thing to list and they do they tend to sell pretty fast for me. This one I had for a little while though, um, but it sold for $13 and the buyer paid $5.80 shipping. Next, we have this beautiful Native American seed bead set. So I sold the earrings last week and this was the sash and I believe that these are bracelets, like a ceremonial um, bracelets. Um, beautiful beadwork these were vintage they're in great condition they sold for 40 to five dollars and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping next we've got oh i was so kind of really sad i was really kind of sad to see him go this was pepe Le Pew. um i picked this up at good at, at goodwill uh, i i love these things and i i i almost kept him because i do keep some of these they're just fun little things to set out He's little Pepe Le Pew and you push his little foot and he says, I pick you. And then he does a little kissy thing. He was so cute. But I think I had him original listed for $25. Took a best offer of um, $20 and the buyer paid shipping. When you're out and you see these Hallmark, especially if they still have the tags on them, look them up because you'd be surprised. They come out with these every year. Every year it's a different character. Um, and, um, so sometimes people are looking for these, maybe they've had them and they wish they had it again, or they sold it and they wish they didn't. Um, so I always look them up and I do pretty well with them. This guy, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I'm so not, I'm not sad. I'm so happy that he'd sold. He's a clown and I do not like clowns. This is a Knickerbocker roly poly clown. I've had him for a while and I can tell that because I went ahead and added free shipping. Um, if you are listing something and, and say, you know, you have this listed for $12 at, with shipping. So you can go in there and adjust your price and add free shipping. Sometimes people will toggle things when they're searching and they will toggle free shipping. So I tend to just add free shipping on things that maybe I've had for a while and I'm just trying to switch it up to see what will work different. And that's what I did with this guy. And I've done that a couple times with him, but he did sell for $16 free shipping. He was very lightweight. He did ship first class. Next, we have this Jiffy White Shoe Polish Bottle. And it was in this old bottle with the cork and it had the original paper label, which is a thing that is a lot of people seek. Um, you can see he still has some of the some of the shoe polish on the inside. It's kind of white in there. Um, but he still had the, the paper label. Sold for $9.99 and the buyer paid shipping. This was fun. This was also something that I think I found in an auction lot and I had several of them. This was the last one that I had left and it was this vintage peanuts memo pad. Look at that. Look, it's got Woodstock and Snoopy on the inside and in like this little purse pack. It was really cute. I sold, I sold it for $15 and I did offer free shipping. It was very lightweight. The next couple things, these were all purchased by the same person and it was a viewer. So thank you so much. You know who you are. They went in and they um, purchased a lot of these uh, presidential campaign pin backs. And this one was from the Humphrey and Mus Muskie. Uh, and then we've also, and that one sold for $6. I did do free shipping and I did lot them all together. And this one, Ross Pro, y'all remember Ross Pro? Yep. Well, this one was from 1992, and then they also got this Dukakis, who he has passed away this year, so that, um, I don't know, maybe this will be more valuable, um, and I didn't realize that I had this listed, so Dukakis uh, from 1988, and then this one, Clinton and Gore campaign button from 1992, sold for $7.99, and then we have the 1984 Ed Simcox. Indiana Republican State Convention pinback sold for $9.99. Um, 
Okay, we'll go back there. So they sold, they bought all of these uh, political buttons. I did combine their shipping. Um, so that was, a, that was a great sale. Uh, I still have some left in my eBay store. So if you were looking for some more vintage political pinbacks, check out my store. I have some more listed, but thank you so much for buying those. Here's the other Walkman. This one was the Sony CD Walkman, the D slash EJ011. Um, very clean on the inside. It does work. It sold for, I think I originally had it listed for 20 Sold for $16.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, this was the thing that we pulled today. This was the um, hay in a needle stack. 550 piece jigsaw puzzle made by Hoyle from 1982. It sold for $29.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I tend to just buy the sealed puzzles. I will say when you are at the thrift store and even though a puzzle box may be open, if it looks interesting to you, go ahead and open it up. Sometimes they're still sealed in the bag. So you can still sell that on eBay as new sealed because the box is, or an open box. The box has been opened, but the puzzle pack itself is still in the original packaging. So you know that it is complete. So that's just a little thing I sometimes do. If it's a look, looks like an interesting puzzle, um, I'll go ahead and double check to see. But this one was sealed. Sold for $29. Buyer paid shipping. Next, we have those guns. These are also the McFarlane Halo Reach Weapon Pack, um, Series 5. Um, and there were these various guns, and they sold for $40. Um, and the buyer did pay shipping on those. So, again, look out for some of these weapon pieces if you are out and about. Um, you can do Google image search, and that can help you identify them. Um, because, you know, just a random gun, I wouldn't know what any of these came with if I didn't do a Google, Google image search. All right, next. Um, my son was, we, he was, uh, had a subscription to the Loot Crate box or Game Crate. I can't remember. Oh, I guess it was Loot Crate. Um, and some of the things that he just didn't want to collect, we listed on eBay. And this was one of them, this creepy clown ice cream scoop from Twisted Metal. Uh, sold for, I think, I had had it listed for 20 sold it with a best offer of 15 and the buyer paid $5.80 shipping. Another Christmas ornament. This one has the original box with these little cats. It's mom and dad cat in their little stocking. Um, I did do free shipping on this one. And I've noticed since I've changed free shipping on a lot of these ornaments, they have been, I've been selling them and I've had these listed for a couple years. So I'm, I'm happy to see them go. I don't, didn't have any money into these. So that I think, yeah, I had two of them. This was the last one, uh, sold for $10 and buyer got free shipping. Next, we have another halo figure. Um, this one was the Spartan B, B312 six action, six action figure. I don't know. McFarlane toys. Team Series 1. He was complete. Uh, I think I had him listed for 35 and I got an offer for 32 which I accepted, and the buyer paid $5.10 shipping. He's got his gun. He's got his, I don't know if his helmet comes off. He's from 2011. I don't think his helmet comes off. I have another one listed that the helmet comes off. This one doesn't. But so, these are these were a great find. Well, they were my son's. And we sold them. I mean, we originally bought them, so we sold them. Next, I have a Longaburger basket. This is the vintage 1993 Longaburger Crisco American Baking Celebration bread basket with a bonus of this. I threw in this little, I had this Crisco cookie celebration cookbook. Um, sold for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. Next, we have Strawberry Shortcake. Berries to Market Game. Um, this was a Goodwill find. I think I paid $1.99 for it. It is complete. The great thing about it, that's the all that's all the pieces that it comes with. Just those four counters and the spinner and the board. Um, it, it was from 1979, made by Parker's, Parker Brothers. It sold for $20 and the buyer paid $9.90 shipping. Next, we have the Lucky Tail, Lucky Dog Tail Nail Grinder. And it did come with these two extra grinders. I actually bought this to use on our dog. And I took it out of the box and turned it on. And she was like, oh, no, no, this isn't going to happen. 
So I just decided to sell it. Sold for $24 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I think I did have it listed as open box because I mean, I, that's pretty much what I did. This had never been opened and I turned it on and it kind of walked towards my dog and she was like, Oh no. So I didn't want to traumatize her any further. So we just went ahead and sold it. All right. So this, those are the things that I sold the last from January 8th through the 12th. So you can look up your reports um, and it is in the performance area and you just go down to sales and then you can do a custom link and I did the 8th through the 9th and it gives you the breakdown. So my total sales, including the taxes, were $403.97, which were down for the year. Um, these are the taxes and fees that EB, or that had been taken out. My selling costs were 168.43 and my net sales were $216.76 down almost 50% from last year. That's kind of crappy. Sold 14 items. My average sale cost was up, so that's great. And then, um, yeah, everything sold at a fixed price. I didn't do any auctions. And then it also breaks down your total buyers and your sales by category. So it's a good thing to look at. Um, I want to say, though, that, you know, eBay is just a secondary stream of income for me. It isn't my main stream of income. It's something that I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to. You know, me selling my vintage and antiques is my main source of income. And so eBay is just a secondary income for me. But, you know, for the amount of work that we put into it, um, having the net sales of 216, I I'm happy with that. I got rid of a lot of things that I've had. Um, everything that I've listed are things that I did not go and actively buy lately. It's just things that I've had in my little opportunity piles. So I'm okay with that. And we'll just, you know, we're just going to look at it every week as we keep listing and paying a little bit more attention to it. And we'll get that number built up. I think I have like 256 items listed right now. I do just have the basic store. And one thing that I wanted to show you before we logged off was the breakdown for that. Um, I know that some people have asked, you know, should I get a store? The thing that I like to do right now, I have the basic, I used to have the premium store. You know, you can get a starter store for $4 and 95 cents a month, uh, or $7 and 90 or $4 and 95 cents for the year. You could do a monthly subscription for $7.95 a month, but I have the basic store and what that gets you, if you have a starter store, if you think that you're not going to list any, any more than 250 items per month, um, then start with that starter store. Um, and again, you get, um, you'll get charged 30 cents, um, for your, uh, fixed price insert insertion. If you go beyond that 250. I'm actually thinking about just going down to a starter store because I am not getting a thousand items listed per month. But the thing of it is, I probably would do more than 250 a month. So I don't know, probably just will stick with the basic. But you can go in and you can look and see which ones work best for you. Um, you know, anchor stores, um, you know, you do get with the, the higher your store subscription, the less your insertion fees go, but that's if you are listing more than a thousand listings per month. And if you cl click on these little, um, little information tabs, it will, you know, lead you to where you needed to do, go if you wanted to find more information, but then you can see all the benefits that it will give you. And the, basically what I'm getting, um, we're having a basic store is Terra peak, which I don't even use because I do subscribe to worth point. So and you're also getting an insertion fee credit for auction style listings that sell, which I don't do. So I don't know. It's something that I might look into a little bit. Maybe y you can go back um, and I might just do it a monthly just to see if I need to to increase it or decrease it as I go. So that's just a resource that you can do. It will tell you, it will give you a lot of information that you might be looking for. Cause I do get people asking me, should I have a store? And my thing is, if you think that you're going to do to over 250 a month, I would go with the basic. This is how much you'd be paying per month for that. So but this is a tax deduction. You can deduct that from your taxes at the end of the year as well. So just look at this chart and it might help you a little bit when you're trying to figure out which subscription you should do.
So those were the items that sold for me on eBay the week of January 8th through the 12th. Um, again, I mean, eBay is a second stream of income for me. It's not something that I'm like putting uh, all of my time and energy into. And that's the thing with eBay. You're going to get as much as you will put into it. So if you keep your eBay store active, you'll actively have some sales. Sometimes even just going in and playing around with some of your listings a little bit. Um, things that will that you think will ship first class, offer free shipping. You know, you can bump it up a few dollars with free shipping to make up for the difference because things that ship first class are going to cost, you know, under $4 to ship. So um, it's just something to maybe to think about and play around with a little bit. But um, let me know in the comments if this is a video series that you would like for me to continue to do. Um, I got pretty good. Um, I got a pretty good response from it last week. And also let me know if there's any questions that you might have. I am not like... I don't know eBay inside and out like a lot of other resellers do. It's just something that I do as a secondary stream of income, but it is something that I really enjoy doing. So um, I know that there are lots of YouTube videos out there that will help break down a lot of the eBay ins and outs step by step. Some of my favorites are Cat the Nurse Flipper, Danny, the Niche Lady, Rally Roots, um, Thrift School. There is a, he sells a lot of, on Amazon. So there are a lot of other resellers that have a lot of knowledge. Um, Primetime Treasure Hunter. And I will link their channels down below so you can go ahead and check them out as well. I highly recommend them. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And let me know if you like me doing these series and I will keep them up. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some drama, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Spangalis. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town.